Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I want to make a little confession to you. My ultimate car to ever have is a Bentley. That's right guys. I mean, look, I'm a fat fuck, okay? I'm fat, I'm fucking middle age and uh, you know, for me, a Ferrari, Lamborghini, too fucking low to the ground. For me, the dream car has always been Bentley or Rolls Royce. And I got to tell you, there's something about a Bentley which just brings out the best element in you. And I'm a huge fan. I've been watching the YouTube channel Josh's World. Take a look at the, I'll put a link at the top of this video, Josh's World. He's a normal guy who happened to have got a Bentley for himself. And I don't care whether it's a two-door or a four-door. Uh, Josh has an Arnage, a Bentley Arnage, which was the uh, the Bentley that shared the same, um, uh, it had the same body shell as the, the Rolls-Royce Silver Seraph. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm absolutely in love with these vehicles. Uh, on Josh's World, he documents the ownership of this said Bentley and uh, I think he paid it was under 50,000 US dollars <throat> now what I wanted to do is guys car prices are a little bit more expensive in Australia but if I sold my a couple of my pieces maybe I could get my fat ass into a slightly used Bentley either a GT or a uh, an arge. So the the first thing I, I would have to sell if I was serious about this um, this this sort of automobile, I don't want to gut my whole collection. I just want to get rid of a few pieces. Now I'd have to get rid of my prize Patek Philippe. I'd have to get rid of my my World Time. And <clears throat> I mean the World Time, the five one one zero J. It's just come back from a service, uh, full box and papers. Um, it's got the extra long strap. I, I think, you know, you you'd get somewhere in the mid Aussie, mid 30s. What's that? That's, that's mid 20s US, 24, 25, 26,000 US smackaroonies. And I mean, I've done all the hard yards. The work has been done. Um, that, that would give you a very good deposit on a Bentley. And, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, yes, I love the Patek Philippe, but it's always been a bucket list dream to have a real fuck off car. I mean, yeah, Patek is so cool, but I've enjoyed it for a while now. Maybe it's time to get the true Bentley experience, a Bentley. And that's really my dream car. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a 15 year old Bentley. You know, it's still a lot of life left in that sort of car. The other watch I'd have to sell, please don't tell Dave, would be my, my Rolex two-tone Daytona with the exotic blue dial. Now these, I just had a look on Chrono 24, the cheapest in Aussie dollars is about 18,000 Aussie, which is about 13,000 US. Um, so, I mean, I think I should get at least that. It, it doesn't have papers, but it does have Rolex service papers because it was serviced by Rolex. Uh, I've got the box for it. It's, it's a real, real nice piece. And because I'm a fat cunt, I've had to add the extra links. So this is ideal. It's, it's a Rolex Daytona for a fat cunt, ready to go, ready to go. And, and I mean, I don't know if I'd really need the Daytona if I had a Bentley. I mean, the Bentley is such a suave, sophisticated car. Do, do, do you think I would really <clears throat> need a Daytona and a Bentley? That's too much ego, far too much ego in the same house. 
And uh, I, I really think I, I, could, I could get rid of that, get rid of the uh, Daytona, uh, get rid of the paddock. And I'd, I'd, I'd look, if I got rid of one more watch, it would get very comfortable. Uh, two-tone bluesy submarina. Now, I know it's been a grail. I know it's been a bucket list item. This is a V serial number, the last of the last. So it's, it's pulling a slight premium. Uh, it's about 13, 14,000 Australian dollars, which is what? It's about 10 US. 10 US for a, uh, the last of the last pre-ceramic uh, bluesy submarinas. And um, I got to be honest with you. <clears throat> I could always get back in. The thing is, I'm retaining such pieces. I'm retaining my Reverso Grand Date. I'm retaining my uh, Zenith El Primero. And I'm also retaining two Rolex. I got my Explorer 2 and the Milgauss. Well, that's, that's not a terrible collection there. I just sell three pieces and I have four. Uh, I might even add a Speedmaster down the track and have the Archie 5 back in business again. So I've, I've got to be honest with you there. I am seriously, I'm at a stage in my life where I've got, you know, I've got seven watches and they're really quite fuck off. They are out of this world. I've got some really cool pieces and I love the fuck off factor. I do love the fuck off factor. But you can only wear so many watches at one time. And, and i got to tell you, man, I'd love a 15, 15-year-old 15 Bentley, 15 to 20-year-old Bentley. And, I mean, because it's British quality, how bad can it be? Most of these Bentleys are very low kilometres. I'd just take it out once, once a day for a quick drive, you know. <clears throat> Get a, an independent Indy independent Bentley specialist to uh, help me with it. But um, <clears throat> it's kind of it's make a bucket list dream come true. I've always wanted a Bentley. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati. No, nah, not yeah, that's too sporty and hip. I'm a fat cunt. I want something comfortable, something just out and out luxury. And I don't care whether it's a two-door Bentley or a four-door. I'd, I'd really love to get a Bentley. I think it's, it's I'm at a certain uh, phase in my life where a 15 to 20-year-old Bentley could be a good thing to get. It would be very, very cool. Now, obviously, I'm not rich enough to buy a brand-new Bentley. I, um, <clears throat> I'd have to buy second-hand. I'd have to buy well. I'd have to get a good dealer deal. Um, I, I, uh, I've been watching Josh's World on YouTube. He talks about the, the cost of Bentley ownership. And he really hasn't had many nasty surprises. It's been pretty damn good. Bentley time. Um, now, it may not fit in my garage, but because it's a quality car... I don't think it really matters if I if I just use a car cover to cover it because it is the best of materials. So it it it'd probably last pretty good even if it was outside with a car cover on it. And uh, I mean I could give it a hose hose down if it was really hot day, but uh, I'm seriously thinking about a Bentley. Uh, what do you think? A second hand. 15 to 20 year old Bentley. Uh, I'd like to hear your comments. I mean, look, I, I may not. This is just, a, I'm just blowing, blowing. I'm just talk, sort of blowing smoke in the air. I'm just trying to think about, you know, bucket lists and I'm getting older. Do I really need the Patek? Do I need the Daytona? I mean, I love my Patek Philippe. I love my Grand Classique from Patek Philippe. But I've really wanted a Bentley for so long. I've got a school reunion coming up. I'd like to piss everyone off with a, uh, a Bentley. And because, uh, you know, the Bentley shape, no one really knows how old they are. So um, I, I'm, just, I'm just, 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 just kicking the idea around. Would you sell off 
the three watches, the Patek Philippe World Time, the Two-Tone Daytona, and the, the Blue Sea. Would you sell those three pieces off to make an automotive dream come true? And uh, I'm going to put some links. Please have a look in, in the top of this video here. I'm going to put some links to uh, Josh's world. Josh, uh, he's, he's in America. He's in, I think he's in Texas. He's got a Bentley Arnage. <coughs> the other guy who's my hero is normal guy, supercar guy. He's got a fleet of luxury cars. A fleet. He's got a Ferrari 430. He's got a Jaguar. He's got a, he's got a Corvette, really cool Corvette. And, and I'm kind of thinking, man, maybe it's time for me to cash out a bit, a few of these upper luxury wristwatches and get myself some automotive pleasure. I, I've been feeling a bit down. I'm not really having luck on the dating scene. I've, I've had a few comments about the Civic, the Civic not being up to par. So I'm just sort of thinking, I'm a bit of very, 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 very sensitive at the moment there. And, and I'm thinking about maybe getting a Bentley. So, uh, guys, I, I want to hear from the audience. What do you think? It's, it's just pie, pie in the sky at the moment. But if I sold those those three luxury watches, I, I could get myself a third or fourth hand 15 to 20-year-old Bentley. What do you think? I'm Archie Luxury. What do you think of that, fuckers? Please like, subscribe, tell your fuckwit friends and don't forget, guys, to put some really nasty comments down below. Tell me how stupid this idea is. And uh, <clears throat> don't forget, guys, keep watching the Archie Luxury channel. See you later, fuckers.